See, this uh, CPAC ETF is formed because government wants to divest uh, about 10 stocks. So these 10 stocks are considered based on certain criteria. We put the 10 stocks into one basket and we made an ETF out of it. Now this ETF is nothing but a mutual fund, but this ETF will be traded on the exchange just like any other stock. So instead of divesting one stock by one stock, we put all 10 stocks in the weightages similar to market capitalization weightages and this ETF will be traded on the exchange. So investors who are investing into this will get benefit of buying all 10 stocks at one shot and also the benefit of trading it into the exchange. Like they can buy and sell in the exchange very easily just like any other stocks. Yeah, you can say that because the underlying uh, stocks are uh, PSC, CPSC stocks, because they are CPSC stock, they can, you can compare it to a thematic fund. See, if you look at the underlying uh, stocks that are there in the ETF, these are very strong companies, government companies that are making profit and uh, they were having dividends, uh, declaring dividends of more than 4%. The company financials are very strong. Due to various factors that I think people know, the valuation given to these companies are not as high as any other companies. Maybe because of uh, not so strong government or maybe there are various factors in, in which people will give values to these companies. Now if things change, like if there's a stronger government at the center or any other factors that are positive to these companies, the returns of these kind of funds will also be higher. Uh, there is a 5% discount for all investors. When they are investing in the NFO, there's a 5% discount. For retail investors who are investing less than 2 lakh rupees, there is a promise of a bonus after one year. If they hold the units for more than one year, they are going to get 1 is to 15 bonus. That works out to about 6.66%.